Following the site opening, the site was awarded the International ISP Award for Process Excellence. And then the following year, we were also awarded the Asia Pacific CMO of the Year Award. When we get a new program to site, the first part of the process is a proposals to projects meeting, where all of the information that was discussed with our proposals team as part of the initial contract discussions and understanding the program. That information, including the risks of the program, the timelines and scope, that's transferred across to the project team. So the project team includes the process engineers, the quality control team and a project manager who looks after the team. When we first met with a client, we talked about all the different manufacturing options that could be used in this project to meet the client's needs. And so that might involve talking them through different manufacturing scales, different types of processes that we can use at large scale, and all the while understanding what the client's needs are in terms of timeline, risk and cost. So in the early stages of process development, we work directly with our clients and our PD sites to ensure that the facility fit they're working towards at development scale can be executed in our Brisbane facility. In that respect, we get involved quite early on to make sure that the processes that are being developed will fit the equipment on site and ensure that we get a successful execution. So we work with customers based all around the globe. So working in different time zones is a challenge that all of these sites have but we will schedule our communications at times that are appropriate for all time zones. So our upstream area consists of four um, dedicated pre-culture rooms where we, we do the vial thaw and the initial stages of the pre-culture, so shake flask in an incubator, expanding those cells up until they're ready to be passaged up to a, a wave reactor. We have two by 2,000 litre bioreactors and all the necessary seed reactors to support that. So I think the the value of us having such a broad range of technology and upstream and um, a number of different single-use bioreactors from different suppliers allows us to take a process from a client and integrate it into the site seamlessly. So in downstream we receive clarified harvest from our upstream team and generally our first step will be a capture chromatography on one of our chromatography skids. We have two different types of skid at the Brisbane facility. We have the Acta Bio Process and the Acta Ready. After our primary capture step, we typically come further down the suite and perform a low pH virus inactivation step. And then there'll be another one or two polishing steps on other chromatography media. The final step in this suite will be the virus filtration step. And once that is complete, we transfer the whole product pool into our final fill suite, which is the designated post-viral room and has its own air handling system. This is our CGMP warehouse. We have capacity to store over 3,000 pallets in a temperature controlled environment, 50 pallets in our 2 to 8 degrees Celsius room, and up to 40 minus 70 degrees Celsius freezers to store drug substance. And we also have a security system in place. The security system is important because we store millions of dollars in drug substance, and this needs to be securely managed. So one great advantage of the Brisbane site is that we have significant expansion space on our second and third levels. Um, there's 2,000 square metres of floor space there um, that could essentially double the manufacturing capacity that we have on, on the level four area. The best part of working at the Brisbane site is we have a really multinational diverse team, uh, 26 different nationalities on site, which is great when you're working with a really international clientele, you're able to meet the diverse needs of that client and have an appreciation for different cultures. Made with process and purpose in Brisbane, Australia.
here in Bend where we develop and enable our customers' drug products with very difficult drug delivery challenges. We're problem solvers. Um, that no matter what the challenge is, our clients can, um, they can depend on us. We really specialize in, in uh, molecules that are highly insoluble. And uh, the expertise we have here at the site um, knows how to take those drugs, um, understands uh, what uh, formulation uh, solutions are available, and really works collaboratively with the client to try to understand um, what is going to fit their product needs the best. Our site, every customer's project, has a core team that consists of three people, uh, a project manager, an analytical development lead, and a manufacturing or formulation lead. We have a very engaged site leadership team that meets with every, uh, every new customer to discuss high-level goals, timelines, what they're trying to achieve with their development program, uh, and how we can help. At small scale, the site is an uh, early development site focusing on pre-formulation, phase one, phase two. And uh, once those activities are done, the, the, the action shifts towards the commercial side of things. The pilot scale GMP at the Bend, Oregon site uh, consists of two pilot scale spray dryers. One uh, is an Anhydro MS-150, uh, another one is a GEA a mobile miner. Uh, these are capable of doing tens of kilograms of spray dried intermediate. Uh, we also have a secondary drying capability, both convection tray drying as well as the Ikato agitated conical vacuum dryer. The site also uh, um, manufactures tablets and capsules uh, by converting the intermediate into a formulated dosage form. And the site has both R&D equipment like the Piccola R&D press, which is a 10 station press, and we scale up to the GMP side of things, which has a Coarsh XL100, which uh, is capable of doing uh, 50,000 tablets an hour. So typically the customer's project is preclinical to early formulation. They do from preclinical phases to phase three and method validation. For the early development, we do early formulation selection in terms of the analytical feasibility screening and helping the formulation be progressed further into GMP. We're really excited about the latest investments that we've made at the Bend site. They include nearly $9 million in capital investments since 2016. Essentially every technical space at the site's been remodeled over the past couple of years, including our analytical laboratories, our formulation development space, and our manufacturing spaces. Quadrant 2 is a platform that we developed here at the Bend, Oregon site. Our Quadrant 2 platform helps in identifying which is the right technology for polysoluble compounds. Another unique aspect of Quadrant 2 is it is fully predictive and, uh, and it requires only the structure and the physicochemical properties of the API, such as the melting point. Uh, with, with, that just, uh, with that simple information, we can help in uh, identifying the right enabling technology as well as uh, uh, excipient selection uh, for formulation. We have analyzed over 150 compounds and uh, we have a high degree of accuracy over 80% in terms of technology selection as well as uh, excipient selection. Hot melt extrusion is another uh, enabling technology for uh, polysoluble compounds. Uh, it's another way to make amorphous solid dispersions and for some compounds uh, uh, it, is, it is a a viable technology to progress their molecule and improve the solubility and bioavailability. We're fast and flexible. We're able to be uh, we're able to be quick and agile in our development programs, which fits well with those uh, those small and emerging pharmaceutical companies. I've been able to experience the real stories of uh, patients and how that you know the drugs that we make affect their lives. Um, hearing firsthand that they were able to attend a wedding, attend a, a child's birthday, uh, really hits home. It makes you feel as though you know what you do really impacts people's lives, um, and we get to experience that every day. It's it's a pretty great thing. Our customers' challenges solved with chemistry and conviction in Bend, Oregon.